everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here then my name is Carly and I post videos two times a week now it was three but I have changed it to um, two and then I might do the odd extra um, yeah I've just decided that's gonna work better so I post two videos a week now um, on all sorts of things motherhood lifestyle uh, beauty and fashion and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a, another food shop haul um, and then just some meal ideas that I am trying out for the week. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into the video. So in this week's shop I went to Asda, I spent an eye watering, it was about £88 I think. I'm just spending a fortune on food at the minute. The kids eat everything so quickly and yeah, there's not a lot of offers on things. I can't get to Aldi the same because Peter's at work all the time. So anyway, anyway. So yeah, Asda I chose because there was a, a slot available. And I did, did a bit of a panic panic buy because it was sort of a last minute slot. So I was like, put loads of stuff in. So I had a few substitutes. Not completely crazy random ones like some people get. But just some things that are a bit of a pain. But the guy didn't give me the option to give him them back or anything either he just literally dropped the shopping off and went which is you know i don't really blame him i'll make use of everything anyway so yeah anyway let me show you exactly what i have got okay so starting over here i have got a lot of stuff as usual um and i am trying out different recipes so i've got a lot of um things that i don't normally buy um so i got some garlic no I didn't, that's not garlic, that's garlic, I'm sure you all know, um, I got some ginger um, which is going to go in one of my recipes, it's, that is not something I ever normally buy, I did try and buy like lazy ginger but um, it got substituted for this but that's fine. Um, next some garlic bulbs um, which is again for some cooking some quark which i actually really like to use in things um this is really good obviously if you do slimming world it's high in protein and all that good stuff so that is going in another recipe i'm going to link these recipes at the end they're from a lot of them are anyway from my new recipe book not my new recipe book but a recipe book that i bought which is the pinch of nom um and i can't 100 percent remember what the recipes are called so i will uh, link them down below and I will um, share them with you at the end. Um, Richmond sausages, which are just gross, I think, but Toby really likes them, Peter really likes them, but I just think they're just... Ugh. They're obviously cheap, gross sausages, but Peter just thinks they're the nicest ones. Um, but yeah, not my cup of tea, but there we go. Um, pizzas, as always, a weekly staple for us. Um, two margarita and then a pepperoni one. These actually look quite nice. Um, and they were only cheap. They were just over a pound each, I think. Grapes, red grapes. They'll be gone in a day. Um, some leeks. And I've got two packs of these, I think. I can only see one. I don't know what I've done with the other one. Oh, there it is. Two packs of cherry tomatoes. Um, some prawn crackers. These weren't the ones I picked. I would have sub I would have given these back actually because this is like a much smaller bag than I actually chose. But um, and they charged me the same. But whatever, I suppose. Um, but yeah, prawn crackers because I'm going to do a Chinese fake away um, at the weekend. So for that, prawn crackers. Um, I got some ricotta because I love spinach and ricotta and I am going to do some loaded big mushrooms, spinach and ricotta. So I, yeah, I'm really looking forward to having them. I've not made anything like that for ages. So got ricotta. I got loads of different cheeses actually. Um, I got some feta which is going in a I can't remember what the recipe's called, but some feta for another recipe. The halloumi again. For another recipe i love 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 halloumi um i love all cheese to be fair some mushrooms because you know just feeling like mushrooms this week big pack of strawberries which again will last about five minutes because the kids will see them and just they'll be gone um all i'll find is the little green tops 
just left for me to tidy up probably. Spring onions, a huge bag of spinach, but does anybody else just find it really difficult to use all of this because the, they're always just massive, aren't they, the bags um, that they give you spinach, but I'm gonna try my best to get through all of that. Bag of potatoes because we use loads of them. Courgettes, which are not my favorite, but they're in one of the recipes and um, it'd be great to try and get the kids to eat them and Peter likes them so you know I'm just gonna have to take one for the team and and eat them um, and they're good for you so courgettes bag of red onions um, we get through a lot of them Peter's obsessed with red onions so they'll go in lots of things uh, some other lights got the uh, fruit ones so cherry strawberry raspberry and cranberry these are great for doing overnight oats or baked oats. Love them. I got this. I've never bought this before, but this is called for in one of the meals I'm going to make. Some of this squeezy primula cheese. Um, I got... I didn't actually get these. I got one white loaf and then a brown loaf, but they've just substituted them for two white loaves. So... Yeah, I don't really eat white bread that much anymore, but never mind. I'll put one in the freezer because the kids get through bread really quickly, so. And if you've ever watched one of my food shop hauls before, you know that there is always some raisin bagels on there. Dylan and Archie love them. Toby doesn't like raisins, so I got him. He's been complaining to me that I don't buy him the plain ones. So, they are Tobes. Got them now, I hope you eat them. So yeah, I've got two packs of bagels. So if we got, oh, let's have a look at the meat. So I've got some diced beef, which I am going to do. What was I going to make with this? I saw a recipe on Instagram, like a really nice creamy beef honey. Like, was it like a honey and mustard one? You won't know, but yeah, <laughs> that that is going to be used for that. Spag bowl with the mince. 5% fat, just trying to, you know, keep it a little bit healthier. Two packs of unsmoked, reduced fat bacon. Um, I might make a carbonara again. I keep banging on about that Slimming World carbonara, but I really do like it. Also, that is going in another recipe. I got this massive pack of chicken fillets. Um, this is £10, I think, but this is obviously, I can split this up, freeze portions um so yeah i need to do that i need to work out what i am going to use for what day what meal because i want to make sure that i don't waste any of that some honey again this was substituted um but they actually gave me a better one but it's just a smaller bottle but this is going to go in my sticky chicken if i make that again which i have the recipe for as well on my Instagram, but I will link it down below, which was really, really nice and quick and easy. So I think I've covered everything over here. Um, now we'll just move on to mainly snacky stuff. Um, big bottle of blue milk, full fat kids have that. Some snacks, Pringle, you know, rip-offs, um, just to have as a little treat for the kids mainly and Peter. Some froobs. I got a big dry shampoo because I had bought another one that was a different make and it just doesn't cut it so I've gone back to Batiste. Um, some granola bars which is Tobes' fave so he actually prefers the Aldi ones which are cheaper but these were my only option so some of them for his little snacks. I found these which I thought was a good treat for the kids to have just as you know they've seen it this morning and got all excited. Well, I don't think Dill will actually like it because he doesn't like sweet cereal that much, but he's excited to try it. Um, but yeah, rainbow hoops. Just something fun. <laughs> fun breakfast. Um, some malted wheats. I didn't actually order these either. I ordered one of those big um, barrel, what is it, like a barrel pack of biscuits with the malted milks and things. Mainly for Toby because Toby doesn't like chocolate. Um... So he's going to be gutted because they've substituted them for two packs of chocolate digestives. So I'll probably end up eating them. Um, but yeah, poor Toad, he hasn't got his biscuits this week. I'll have to maybe get him some from somewhere else. Um, some Derrily Dunkers. I 
I've got these for the weather, just getting a bit nicer to pop them in the freezer because kids love an ice lolly and um, the Vinto push pop things, ice pops. Massive bag of um, these crisps, 28 pack, and let's hope that lasts a while. If you know me by now, Pepsi Max is just a must. Um, so, four bottles of that. Some beans, which they actually told me was not available, but they've sent them, so that was a nice little surprise. That's made my uh, very dull day a little bit more, you know, interesting. Um, what am I talking about? So, beans there. I got these cheap noodles as just, I don't even know why, just because they're just, if it's an emergency sort of hungry hour, then there's them. Um... I'm not actually keen on them, Peter likes them, but, and he, he's a bit of a brand snob sometimes with these things, but I just don't think they taste any different, so I got the cheap ones. Um, I ordered some quinoa for a recipe, but they've sent me yellow split peas, so, which I've never had before, but I'll use them, we'll see, um, we'll see uh, how they are. Um, some Worcester sauce. Some soy sauce. I not long got some soy sauce, but I'm really annoyed because it's spilled everywhere in the cupboard. Great, isn't it? So I got some more of that. I got a very lazy bolognese sauce, which was really cheap, just because I just like having that one of them in. And um, if I can't be bothered to make anything, I know it's really easy to make a bolognese sauce, but just sometimes a jar is just what you need, isn't it? Really. Some mustard powder. Some uh, Chinese five spice. Which reminds me of Michael McIntyre, if anybody knows what I'm on about. The one that gets left at the back of the cupboard. Anyway, yeah. Um, some uh, reduced sugar jam, because kids get through jam fairly quickly. Some garlic granules. And then some microwave rice, which I'm going to put on the sides of meal. And that is pretty much everything. I need to get cleaning products and things, but I will do that from Home Bargains. Probably because I need to go there. I didn't uh, didn't get anything last year, but yeah, I'm spending a flipping fortune. But um, oh well, it's the the only thing I seem to buy lately really is food. So kids will be happy. So there we go. And now I'll just go and share with you what my plan is for meals this week. So yeah, I'll put all this away and then share that with you. So that is all the shopping put away, um, and now. I'm just going to show you what I plan to cook. I've got to divide all this up in a minute and wrap it up for the freezer. Um, yeah, so I write in here, how cute is this by the way? I just wanted to show you this. This was from Home Bargains a little bit ago. I don't know whether they still do them, but it's a Zoella um, notebook. And yeah, it opens up like this. And then it's really cute because it's got these little post-it notes. Um, uh, to-do list and then obviously the week uh, week's goals I just I just love it I think it's really really pretty and um, so I wrote my meals in here excuse the awful handwriting I wrote this last night at like one in the morning just ridiculous does anybody else just do these ridiculous things in I'm just such a night owl Um I still get up early but I just things come to me at night time and that's when I decide to do a lot of my little list writing and things so Anyway, this is my little meal plan for the week. So, Monday will be spag bol. Um, Tuesday, sticky chicken and rice, which I will share the recipe for down below. Um, and then, this is out of my Pinch of Nom book, which is um, veg and halloumi quinoa. I'll show you what that is like. But, they didn't send me the quinoa. And I... I'm really not sure if I have any. It's supposed to be like this. I just thought it looked really, really yummy. Um, yeah, I just think this looks really nice. So that is what it's supposed to look like. Um, this has got obviously got the halloumi in it and everything. But yeah, I don't have any quinoa, I don't think. So I might have to, I don't know, see what else I can use. Um, but yeah, how healthy, loads of different veg and stuff. So that's one of the recipes for Wednesday. Thursday is going to be chicken carbonara, which is a recipe I've shared before, um, 
but not with chicken just bacon but i'm going to just put some chicken in it this time because i have some fromage fry to use up and that is what goes in that recipe to make it a little bit more slim and friendly friday is spinach feta and potato bake which is another recipe from here let me just find it okay that took me a minute to find but yeah um this spinach feta and potato bake so this would be vegetarian i'm trying to do a few meals that are not all meat related um whether the kids will eat this i really don't know but um sorry you can hear rudy squeaking in the background he wants to go in the living room bear with me and then saturday i'm doing the chinese fake away which i found the recipe for on um on the internet it's a slimming world fake away so that will be saturday's meal oh i'm also going to make these at some point to go on the sides which was the stuffed mushrooms that i said about um because i just think they are delicious so yeah friday's recipe is going to be this leek and bacon tartiflette is it oh god the kids are so noisy sorry guys leek and bacon tartiflette i don't know how you say it i'm probably being really stupid tartiflette i don't know anyway it's this and it looks delicious so um yeah that will be friday's meal and i will link all these below so guys that is everything that i have bought in uh, this week's shop i'm hoping that i don't need to do another shop for a good two weeks because i have things in as well that i can add to you know meals i've got all this veg in the freezer i just need a few other bits probably along the way and i've got all this chicken and bits like i've got mints in the freezer i've got i just buy too much to be honest but um it's just i guess it's the only thing that we're sort of really looking forward to at the minute is meal times and that and i want to get back into cooking fresh meals and different trying out different things so but yeah that is where i'm going to end the video because the kids need to get on with homeschooling now really so that is next on the list and i will see you again for my next video take care bye